Hello Floss Tube, it's Caitlin with a Stitch for Mom and welcome to my Floss Tube channel. Um, I'm a little stuffed up, I've been sick all week so I don't have any stitching to show you today. But um, I did want to put together a little mania or no mania um, video and just talk about what I'm doing. So um, to give you a little background information, I have attempted mania four or five times. I want to say I did it in 2019. I tried 31 days. I got like 15 days. In 2020, I did it earlier. Um, and I can't remember what I did for 2021 or 2022 or 2023. I know I did it. I tried. Never made it through the whole thing. <clears throat> I've always been a teacher um, during mania. So um, I just your teacher, the May is just a hard month, just a hard month. So, um, I'm no longer a teacher. Um, so, um, I'm going to try my hand at mania again. Um, but I haven't decided what exactly I want to do. So I was in between doing 15 new starts and then 15 or 16 whips. I was between doing a new start every other day. I'm not sure, but I did want to show you the plethora of things that I would like to start. Um, and I need to decide if I'm going to do that for Mania or, or not. Um, there's no really real rhyme or reason to my pile. Um, it's just kind of all the stuff that I would like to start. Um, I do have some haul coming. I have some haul to show you and then I have some haul from Jen Stitching Niche. niche. Um, that'll be coming in the next couple days. So, let's go ahead and get started. My first one that I would like to start is Witch's Brew by Shannon and Christine. Um, of this series, this is the only one I got. I saw it was super cute. It's small. It's four by almost five. Um, another one on my to start list is from Stitchville. I don't know if you guys saw that Stitchville's going out of business and it makes me so stinking sad. I don't live closer. Um, it's Pumpkin Patch by the Trilogy. It comes with um, fabric. I think it's 32 count linen. But so this would be one thing I would maybe start. Um, this aside, not sure. Um, I've had this I got from Monica, I believe. Um, Bloom Warrior Planted. I still haven't started it. I have a color picked out for it. So this would be one that I might work on. Um, okay, this is literally just showing you guys my stash, but whatever. Um, I need to start this. Um, Souvenirs of the Heart Star Spangled Spectacular. This is a very small chart. Two on, oh, it's over one. So it'd be like, it's on 28 count over one is 28 and 3 eighths by 3 and 1 eighth. So it'd be more like a four by four by six ish I thought it was on regular 28 I would think I would stitch on 36 count but. okay this is an old with any known thread that I've had for a long time um it is cat tricks it kind of matches that little chick that she has um nine by nine I don't know. I've been meaning to stitch it for a while. Um, another one is Summer Moon. But I feel like I shouldn't start this until I finish Spring Moon. But also I know Fall Moon is coming. And then Winter Moon will be out. So, and I'm going to stitch this on that same. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stitch it on the same blue. <clears throat> um... And, <clears throat> sorry, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any of the call for colors right now. Um, I really like this heart and hand flags. That'd be a really small piece to do. Um. Boo to you. 
I have had this one kitted up for a really long time. And I've just never stitched it. I have it kitted up on 32 count petite point brown natural Belfast linen. Because this is what I did the bunny and the um, snowman one on. I'm really trying to do more stitch from stash this year. It's not going well, but that's what I'm trying to do. Guys, I have so many. Okay. Um, I got, I love fall most of all, just the charts. I can't remember where I bought it. I found just the chart for sale. Um, if anyone wants to sell me their snowman one, I'd be interested. Um... Yeah, I love almost. I love all most of all. Um, I have also been really into Plum Street lately, and I've had babushkas, babushkas bees for a long time. It's been on my to stitch list. Possibility. Um, I have also had ABC Halloween from Lizzie Kate. I absolutely adore this chart. I looked for this for forever because originally it just came out as a kit and I didn't really want it as a kit. I just wanted the chart. So I think eventually I found it. I think one, two, three stitch has it as just the chart now, but I would kind of change some colors. I think also depending on stitching on black and then just, I'd have to look to see what's all black or maybe like a, hmm, like a Halloweeny color. Um, humble honey, I need to do this. This has been on my two stitch list for a long time. This is not very big either. 65 stitches by 46 stitches. Doesn't tell me what the, what the size is. It's cute though. I like it. Um, I have all of these and I've started one, but I didn't like how I started it, so I'm going to restart it. Um, so I have all of these. The series, I've got the summer, fall, winter, and spring one. And I want to stitch them all similar, um, so I haven't really made that decision what I want to stitch these on, if I want to do 36 or 28 or what, but that's a possibility. Um, <clears throat> I also have Your Grand Old Flag, or sorry, Sampler House 3 by Plum Street. Um, I just recently got this one. I also have Grace on Knee, which is a restart for me. So I'd originally, I originally started it on like a 28 count mushroom Lugana and I don't like it. Um, I think I would pretty much prefer stitching it on a 36 count. So I'm going to restart it. Um, let's see what else do I have? I've got Hen and Chicks, which I always forget I have this chart. So the way I organize my charts, or the way I used to, I kind of just recently changed it up. I organized them by season. So I had fall, winter, spring, and summer. So Halloween and anything fall goes into the fall, uh, like Thanksgiving, anything like that. Winter holds my Christmas, winter, and Valentine's Day. Spring holds my Eastern spring. Summer holds my Fourth of July, summer, sunflowers, anything like that goes into the summer. Then I have an everyday basket that has kind of just everything else. Um, and I put hen and chicks, even though it might, some might consider it a spring, I actually put it in every day and I always forget about it. So that's a long story to tell you that I always forget about this chart, but I always forget about it. Um, same goes with Barnyard Bakery. I had started this, but I didn't like my start on it. So I was thinking about doing a restart. I will just tell you, this is not even nearly as much as stash that I have. Um, Red, White, and Bloom is a newer chart to me. Um, I would like to possibly start. I might stitch this one on the Coffee Tea Dye Monaco to match my other Country Cottage Needle work that I just finished. Um... Buttons Black by Plum Street. I've had this one kitted up with some fabric. 
for a couple of years because I feel like it's always in my mania. So I feel like this year I just need to get it done. It's not a big, it's not a big shirt. Yeah. We'll see. Um, what I really want to do is in my book. It's in, you can also buy it regular, but this is in my Halloween um, Just Cross Stitch magazine from 2013. And it is this. Little straight. Cool tidings. You can buy this as just a separate tart, but I just have it in a magazine. The other thing in this, well, there's two other things in this magazine that I really like. Um, there's that. There is Happy Halloween by um, Silver Creek Samplers. And then, I don't know if it's in here, because I started it technically. But I think I need to do a restart on it. It's I can't think I can ink circles. It's an ink circles design. Alright. Um I do want to start Hilda's alphabet since I did finish Santa's alphabet last year. So I do need to work on Hilda's alphabet. Um, I'm gonna actually already have a frame for it and stuff. So I'm good to go. Um I'm gonna do so I'm thinking about doing it on this egg shell. Um I'm gonna do a stash dive video of the rest of my stash and then also do it of my fabric because I thought that would kind of be interesting. So I'm just going to flash this. This is a commission I had done from um, Abby Sue Designs and so that's something that, that's only half of it. That's something that I would really like to start. It's my favorite character from my favorite TV show Star Wars Rebels, Tara. So um, I would like to start that. Um, I have like like uh, which better have my candy from Frosted Pumpkin that I have had for years that I need to just get started. Um, let's see. You would think I'm almost done, but I'm sorry. Um, I just got Mini Moon um, that I would like to, to start. Super cute. Um, I really, really want to start this. This is gonna, this is 100% gonna be on my um, my to stitch list. Autumn Cottage by Plum Street, and I want to stitch it on this piece of color and cotton 36 count aged paper. And I'm gonna pick my own colors, but this is a definite. Like I'm definitely starting this for Mania. It's so cute. All right, let's see what else I got here. Um, Harvest Blessings. I'm stitching with the house, I know, with that needle and thread. Um, I need to start Raccoon Ramble. So I have these um, stackers. I have, I finished 4th of July one, the reindeer, sorry, 4th of July, the hen one, the reindeer one, the turkey one. I would like to do this one for fall, like for like Halloween-y fall. Then move to the turkey for Thanksgiving. Then I would have the reindeer. I also have the cardinal one, which I need to stitch. So I want to do the cardinal one. And then in the spring, oh, I want to do the llama one. I need to buy it. I haven't bought it yet. And then the hen one for Fourth of July. And then I need to find one later. Um, I also have the fox and the cow and the sheep. No, I don't have the sheep. I have the fox. Because my grandma's last name is Fox, so I wanted to kind of do that. Um, I have the cow, which I have started, but I'm going to do a restart. I have the goats, the pigs. I think that's it. So I need to do this one. <laughs> um, Jardin Privé, um, Halloween. Um, I thought this would be pretty on this... 36 count 18th century blackbird I think by R&R because &R. I think the pieces the piece will work because I only need 10 and 3 fourths by 2 and 3 eighths I've had this pattern for a long time all right another piece I want to do is Fright by Bent Creek this came out last year at market it's so cute I love it. Um, 
Another one that I've had for a long time is Babushka's Blossoms by Plum Street. Look at that palm again. It would take me forever. But it'd be really pretty. I think I want to stitch this on. Um, it's a Fabric of the Month from Be Stitch Me into the Veil. This like folly greeny color. I also have Pumpkin Farm by Blackbird Designs. Which would be cool. I don't know whose name I would put. My dad was born in the fall. So was my mom, and so was I, and so was my brother, and so was my sister. And so was my husband. We were all born in the fall. So I don't know what who's but Eddie was born in the summer, so I can't put Ed. Um another one I really, really like is um Barbara Anna Designs. This autumn squirrel. She's so cute. This is from Punch Dealing Primitive Stitcher Magazine, the fall one from uh, what year? 2021. 2021. Yep, it's super cute. I'm liking it a lot. Um, okay. Almost not done. Um, I have lollies, crows, and candy corn. Which I want to stitch into a pillow, same as the Hoppy Easter. So cute. I need to start the autumn baskets. Right, autumn basket. So I am stitching them all on 40 count flax linen. Oh, I found this. I've been missing this. So this is what I have of the summer one done. I don't have very much, but I really need to get, I have all the colors for fall. I would really just like to start the fall. Oops. Um, Jolly Jack is always on my list because it's such a small project and I could just get it done. I just have it. Um, House on a Hill. A harmony in autumn. It's just a cute small that would be easy to easy to stitch up. Um, these, which are Little House Needleworks Pumpkin Farm Petites. This is the only petites I have, is the pumpkin farm ones. Um, monthly weigh in October, which is one that I need to start. The only monthly way and I have started is September's. So. Um, <clears throat> Spell of the Moon by Blackbird Designs is the one I've always wanted to stitch. I have Imprints, Harvest and Home. Just little smalls. They could stitch up real quick. I also printed some. Ooh, I do think I might start this one. Um, I'm just going to flash it. Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It's cute. I also just got, by Erin Elizabeth Designs, the USA Tier Chart. It's super cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Two that I would like to get started. I also have more. So, okay, so here's kind of where I'm kind of stuck. I do want to, I never showed you guys this. I bought this, a crossed wing, cross wing collection loon lake because my husband wants me to um, stitch it for his bathroom. Um, so I'm really stuck. So let me just tell you. So I'm really stuck between this idea of like, I've got so many smalls, like stitching with the housewives, 
other just small pieces that it feels very overwhelming and so I just kind of want to stitch all of those and just get them out um, and get them done and then focus on big projects later. At the same time, I feel like I need to do big projects, so I'm just kind of like torn between what I should do. Um, I That's all I'm going to show you for now because these other ones are very meh. And I also don't have the pictures for them, so I only have like the charts. Um, yeah, they're all very meh. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to stitch any of this. That's the move on me. Um, I'm going to show you my haul that I just got. So I bought some floss for Christmas, for, Chris, for uh, Fourth of July stitching. I can put it away. Okay. They also had this. I've never bought any of these stitch cards, but they had this set D on sale. So I went ahead and bought them. But they were pretty cute. Um, I'm obsessed with strawberries in June, and June is Eddie's birthday month, so um, I bought the monthly weigh in for June, which I'm obsessed with. I got Stars by Paloma Street Samplers. I also got this off a stash, stash unload. It's called Collector's Heart, which I've been wanting forever. And then I went ahead and I bought, what's it called? Um, Sayings of the Season by Stitching with the Housewives. They had an extra kit. I went ahead and bought it. Um, it is the spring one. Oh my gosh. It comes with a little bag, a little charm. Um, comes with the floss to stitch it. Comes with Monaco. I'm not, not sold on this. Comes with the finishing fabric. So, I got that. So we will see. Um, I haven't made, I don't know what the point of this video was, except for to show you that I have a lot of stuff I want to do. Um, Hopefully, I have made a decision the next couple weeks. Today's April 20th, so I have 11 days, 30 days of September, April. I have 10 days. 10 days to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also debating on doing a video showing my whips that I want to work on. And then we will just make a decision whether I want to do new starts or whether to do whips or whether to do a combination of the two or what exactly I want to do. Um... Yeah, that's all I got today. Um, I will do, um, I'll take the winner on my giveaway. Um, the next regular floss tube I do, this is just a special. Um, I haven't really worked on anything. So um, if you do want to um, see what I'm giving away, you can watch my last floss tube video and I have my giveaway there. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope you stay healthy and happy and are healthier than I am. <laughs> And yeah, get some stitching done. Thanks guys.